started. Sunday's match does kick off at 12 p.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Central time. The Western Conference Final will be live on ABC and ESPN3. Um, we'll go ahead and jump straight into questions. Whoever's ready, Bob Ballou. Uh Josh, we, were, we actually looked up the date on this. So the last time we were here for a press conference was the Jersey uh, sponsorship, and it was February 20th, 2020, right before COVID hit. I'm curious if you can just for a minute take us through the, the emotion of like from that date to where you guys are now getting ready to play in a Western Conference final and just how hard it is to, to go through everything that y'all have been through to get to this point. Yeah, it's a, it's a fair point. Um, I think COVID, um, I don't think anyone was ready for COVID or, or what it was going to do on the field or off the field. I certainly wasn't as a coach. Um, it made last year and building this team very, very trying. But we, we had a plan, we had a, a philosophy that we wanted to build this, this team and this organization around. And um, that started last year. And um, obviously on the field, I'm sorry, it started as, as you mentioned when, when we had this press conference, but last year was, was part of this process. And um, we utilized the mechanisms to build this team. We, we added in the summer, we got better in the winter. Um, we came in with a few adjustments to start this year. Um, but last year's experience is part of this year's, um, I think, development. And I think, you know, without those experiences, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I, I truly do believe that. And um, the players that are that are still around that were part of this last year, Julio included, uh, came in with better understanding, better um, a better development of, of our ideas and our methodology. And the, the guys that we brought in um, added to our group as well, both character and, and certainly quality of, of our group. And um, you know, we've evolved this year. We've evolved from last year. We've continued to develop throughout this year and, and gain great experience. And um, now we sit on the, the cusp of, of playing for a final. And it's, it's, it's deserved by these players. It should be LAFC against Austin FC in the semifinal. And um, they were the two best teams in the West all year. And the consistency was there. And it's going to be a great opportunity for our team. Our guys are very excited by it. Uh, we got a pretty, pretty healthy group. And, and, and we'll go to LAFC and do everything we can to put ourselves in a position to win a trophy. And then there was so much buildup as the biggest game in franchise history the last time you played yeah. LAFC. What was your approach to dealing with that this week? And then you've obviously had a few biggest game in franchise history since then. And now you've got, you're at another one. What's the approach this week? Is it any different than the last time you, you played LAFC? It, yeah, I'd certainly say it's probably different than the last time. There was a, um, there was a big energy leading up to that game. That, that was a home game for us. We had, we had beaten them earlier in the year. Um, you know, we were chasing them down in the standings as well. And, and I think everybody could feel that this was a very big game. And as is this game that we're going to play them now in the playoffs for, for probably even, um, you, you know, certainly more rewards. But uh, there was a lot of emotion put into that game and the players could feel it. And for us, it was a home game. It was in front of our crowd. Uh, it was on the backside of a, of a, of a great uh, summer that we were having. And um, it was a big, big moment. And we came out and, and put them under a lot of pressure, sustained that pressure. And, and uh, was one of our more complete dominant performances. And, you know, do I expect Sunday to be the same? Probably um, in some ways, but, but certainly more challenging in other ways. You know, they're a good team. We're going to L.A. And to play the best team. And in order to get to a final, you've got to beat the best team. And that's, that's the challenge that we're up for. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Coach Ann for Julio, staying with the matchup. Um, you know, it's a, such a fun storyline. You're the second year program, the two seed, the underdog on the road. Yet, do you guys see yourselves as underdogs in this one? Well, I think we are the two seed. They are the supporter shield. I think it's a natural um, conversation that, that we are the underdog. Um, it is our second season. We, we've, we've made a lot of progress, and, and we've been a, a good team, a very consistent team this, this entire year. We're not going to sneak up on LAFC. They know who we are. We've beat them twice, six to two over two games. Um, and, you know, they're not going to be too, too kind to us coming to their place again and trying to take them down for a third time. Very challenging to beat a team three times. But, um, you know, we'll be prepared, as will they for us. But uh, uh, there's a lot of tactics that go into games. But this will have a lot of emotion. This will have a, a combativeness to it, as most playoff games do. And, you know, I think as the game settles, or at least there's the opportunity to play, we can show that we can play. We've been able to do that against them as well. But they're a very good team, very well coached, and um, loads of talent. Yeah, same question for you, Julio. Do you see yourself as an underdog in this? Because that's the, the narrative, obviously. Well, good afternoon. Uh, I think uh, there's no doubt that LA is the best team in the, in the league, I would say it. Uh, it. They earned that respect from everyone, I think. And so we, as a, as a second place on the, on, the, on the Western Conference, we have so much respect for them. But that, that doesn't mean that we don't want to go there and like get those points, right? Get, get to 
the final wins the win the the Western Conference and get to the MLS Cup, right? Uh, I think um, it's gonna be difficult, but it's not impossible. Um, like us, like he said, we beat them twice, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna do it again, right? It's gonna be a completely different game. Um, LA knows us a lot better, um, and of course, we we have been working for it to to get the the point that we, to qualify to the next round, and 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 I think uh, that's uh, we are prepared for that. Yeah, Julio, it feels like so many of the big moments for this club have come against LAFC. You had the first ever match last year at the bank. Uh, you climbed first to the table uh, earlier this year at, out there, and then obviously the big win here. When you think about those matches, you know, kind of being up for those moments, how much confidence that, does that give you that you guys have had those, those shared experiences against that club? Yeah, of course. Like I said, uh, there were two big games for us. Uh, we beat them twice, uh, but we cannot sleep on that, right? We... We know the the playoff games is completely different games. Uh, it's, it's like kill or or you go home. So I think uh, it's about how we get prepared uh, to win that game that we 100% we're going to uh, try to get and do whatever we have in our hands to, to make it happen, to, to make this city happy, uh, our fans, uh, that it means a lot for us. And of course, our families get that that they're always with us, and 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 the, of course, all the teammates right now they are like focused on this, on on how how prepared, like physically, mentally, to be ready for this game. And uh, Josh, both times this year against LAFC, you guys have come in tactically and and sort of gotten what you wanted from the game, you know, keeping things controlled, but also getting creating the chances that you need. How much have you thought about this game of of how important it is for you guys to play in the kind of game that that you want it to be, uh, rather than letting LAFC sort of dictate? Yeah, I think it's important. I do, I do think it's important. I think um, the first goal in these matches are extremely important. Um, we've shown all year we can come from behind, but um, both times against LAFC, we, we hit the ground running. We got, you know, we got the first goal. We got an early goal there. We, we certainly got the first goal and a free kick at home. Um, and, and then you've you got to be able to be very opportunistic with those next chances and um, know that they can push, know that they can play. Um, they have, you know, if we make this about an individual, you know, if we make this an individual game, it's going to be challenging. What, what works for us is the collective, and, and that's exactly why we, wear, uh, we are where we are. Um, you know, Sebastian Drusi has a huge, huge influence on this group, but um, he scored 25 goals. There's, there's 45 other goals that this team has, con ha has been able to conjure up. Brad's been extremely good. There's plenty of leadership um, in our group and through the spine of our team. Um, so we, we just have to be, be mindful of what LFC is good at and, and try to do our best to minimize that. But uh, we've shown we can hurt them. And, and, and I use that word not, not lightly, but we, we, we've scored goals. We've created opportunities. Um, we've won games uh, in, in, a, in a variety of ways. And we're going to need to be extremely good. And as complete a performance as, as we had against Dallas is going to be needed against LFC again. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you guys being here. So, <laughs> Thanks uh, for having us. The, uh, <laughs> the, you guys have four or five guys who are 31, 32, or played like large parts in your success. Just uh, speak to kind of how unique that is, if at all, and like what have those guys done to kind of, you know, play five years younger than they actually are, you know, at 31, 32, just to have such a, you know, big, a big part of your success? Yeah, I think experience. Um, at this point of the season is important. People that have been in this situation, it, it does help. Um, you know, Alex Ring is a guy that's been in the league for a long time. Um, obviously, Brad's you know thirty you know thirty years old, thirty one years old. He's a second year starter basically, but his experiences in the league have, have been ha, have been a, a, extremely invaluable, especially as you've seen us progress through the playoffs. Ruben as well. There, there's character. There's leadership that these players bring. There's experience. There's a calmness. What you like to see now in training sessions and in games, these guys putting their arms around younger guys, younger players, Johnny Gallagher's, the Nick Lima's, guys that have been in the league for a bit that maybe haven't had this experience and, and felt the weight. Uh, that comes with playoffs and playing in these types of uh, games. Danny Pereira, I think, continues to grow and mature as a player. Um, and it doesn't hurt to have Alex and Felipe and, and, and people like that around him that, that again, can push him and, and certainly you know, mentor him in some ways. And it's up to the players, obviously, to perform. But it's invaluable to have these experienced players. And, and, and obviously, um, the humility that they have, I think, is also a big part of why we've had success. Is, is there anything, like, physically that they specifically do to, you know, 
<clears throat> you know, you have to keep your body in shape differently at 32 than 22. Is there anything you see from them, like in training or just, you know, health wise that they do specifically to stay in such, you know, good condition that they've been? No, they're good pros. I think we have a great high performance staff. This isn't about, um, you know, I I'm one coach of many. Our high performance staff is in incredibly good. Dave, Tenney, Aki, and Tosh do a great job keeping these guys healthy um, from a physical space. We also have a sports psychologist from a mental space. So uh, older players tend to know what their body needs. We have training sessions set up to manage and monitor loads. So um, we're, we're keen on as many fronts as we can be, and, and we get feedback from the players. At the end of the day, we need to know what they're feeling and how they feel about things, and we'll scale back and amp up trainings based on that. But these guys are in a good space. That We've been in a pretty good routine over the last couple months, and, and, and again, I think experienced players – um, have a better idea of what's coming, know, know what they need, and know what they need to have in reserve. So um, it's a great opportunity for them, but, but for our entire group. Thank you. Um, do you mind if uh, my question is in Spanish? Is, is that okay? For Coach Wolf? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Julio, yeah. gracias por estar aquí. Qué bueno tenerte. Julio, es, ¿es una semana diferente? ¿Se siente diferente? ¿Se entrena diferente? ¿O hay que mantener una constancia en, en lo que siempre están haciendo? ¿Cómo, cómo te sientes? Sí, obviamente en la mentalidad de nosotros está que es una, una final, este, sin duda alguna, pero el trabajo siempre es el mismo, ¿verdad? estamos enfocados en que, en que tenemos que hacer el, el trabajo necesario para ir y ganar el partido allá, creo que no hay otra especulación, nosotros vamos con la, con la seguridad de que tenemos que ir y ganar allá, este, no podemos ir a, a, a especular, a, a ver qué pasa, o a ver qué, 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 qué proporcionan ellos, sino que nosotros vamos a ganar, nos estamos preparando para eso, Va a ser un partido difícil, nadie dijo lo contrario, ellos tienen muchos muy buenos jugadores, este, muy conocidos, estrellas para así decirlo, este, pero nosotros somos un grupo unido, verdad que, que al final de todo creo que eso ayuda bastante siempre en, eh, en un equipo, que, que al final lo, nosotros lo vemos como una familia, la verdad. Claro. Julio, la ofensiva de LAFC es claramente poderosa, es complicada. Tú estás eh, enfocándote en cómo mantener a raya, no sé, a Bel, Arango, a Cifuentes. Eh, ¿cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo ves, el, el, desde el punto de vista defensivo, cómo vas a enfrentar ante un rival tan, tan poderoso ofensivamente? Sí, creo que no es acerca sol, solo de mi parte, ¿verdad? Creo que somos, somos todo un equipo que va a defender. Este, pero sí, como lo dije, ellos tienen estrellas, y en ese caso Vela, Bell. Este, no sé si estarán a, es, disponibles, pero, pero sí, este, obviamente nos enfocamos, vemos videos, nosotros en la zona defensiva vemos videos de, de, de la ofensiva de ellos, este, qué hacen, cómo, cómo, cómo atacan y, y creo que eso va a ser parte importante ¿verdad? para nosotros, para, para defender ese, ese, el arco que, que sin duda queremos dejarlo en cero. Gracias. Voy a preguntar dos de parte de Jorge y Turalde y puedes contestar en español. ¿Cuál es la clave para salir con la misma concentración y coordinación de los últimos dos juegos de ti, Rubén? Eh, creo que, que es algo que, que es mental, ¿verdad? Creo que para nosotros este, ha sido muy importante el mantenernos unidos. Este, siempre lo he dicho, que, que somos una familia y como familia nos protegemos el uno al otro. Este, sin duda va a ser un partido importante para todos, creo, todos jugadores, cuerpo técnico, este y para la ciudad sin duda alguna, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros vamos enfocados en que tenemos que ir allá y ganar el partido. A pesar de las críticas de nosotros por algunos errores, Josh ha puesto toda su confianza en ti. ¿Qué tanta presión es para ti corresponder a esa confianza? No hay presión, creo que, que la presión nos la ponemos nosotros mismos, este, pero en este caso creo que somos jugadores, somos humanos, cometemos errores como todos, eh, pero en este caso nosotros nos enfocamos en seguir adelante, ¿verdad? Levantar cabeza y seguir adelante. Josh, you mentioned beating a team three times uh, in the same year. Does this LAFC team currently look like the teams that you've beaten twice uh, with the revolving players coming in and out? I mean, they're, they've been good start to finish. They've added some, some quality. Obviously, um, Boanga gives them a different look as a winger, and he's, he's been quite um, influential in big games for them. So uh, they, they play the way they play. I think they, they have good dynamic. They have good physicality. Um, they're good both with the ball, but extremely good in transition. So there's things that we have to be aware of as we, as we were in both the games. And um, understanding who they are is important, but also understanding how to beat them, how to hurt them, and, and how to con constantly put them under pressure. And I think that's you know, what we can control and what we can focus on and know that it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a difficult environment. It's going to be an afternoon game. So 
Um, we'll try to utilize the ball as much as we can, but we'll understand if, if it's time to suffer and we don't have the ball and they have momentum, we, we can ride through that. And um, again, be opportunistic when those, those chances arise. But they, they are who they've been all year, a good team that's more than capable of, um, of winning games. But um, we'll, we'll do our best to make it extremely difficult and come away with um, the Western Conference champion and, and, and move on. And then our impression is your locker room, dating all the way back to Maxi grilling, uh, during training preseason that this is the dream locker room that a coach would have for a run like this. D are there any locker rooms you've been a part of beforehand that this reminds you of? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, when I think of the, the teams that I was part of that got to championships, Kansas City in, in, um, in 2004, uh, Chicago in 98 when I was certainly a young player, but um, the leadership inside the group, the, the, the leadership and the staff, I, I think all those things play a role in, in maintaining humility and hunger, but, but also an energy and enjoyment. It's, it's important to enjoy this moment. You, you don't get here easily. It, it doesn't happen every year. So we've also put that into um, perspective over the last couple of weeks when we're preparing for Salt Lake and obviously preparing for Dallas. Um, it's, 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 you know, this is what you play the game for. If, if you're a player and, and you have the opportunity to, to play in a final, um, you know, and you got to go against the best, this is the way you should do it. And uh, our guys are, are, are up for it. And we have familiarity with the opponent. But, um, you know, come Sunday, the, those things will, will mean very little once the game starts. It's about maximizing the moment and, and staying calm in the moment and, and getting the result that's, that's desired. Julio, Josh spoke a moment ago about the importance of getting that first goal. What goes through a player's mind? What goes through your mind when you look up at the scoreboard early and you guys are up 1-0? Well, it feels, uh, of course, a, a lot of relief, right? Uh, we're winning, and, and we, we have to like, make sure that we, as a defenders, we have to like, uh, focus on not conceding. Um, so for us, it's so, so important like, to, to keep the, the, the goal in zero and go through the, through the game uh, the, same, the, same, the same way. I think we have a lot of players, good players, that can, can hurt them. So, so at the end of the day, if we, we just uh, not concede, it's going to be a, a lot of pressure for them. One more for, for you, Julio, here in the back. Um, you've been here both. OK. You, you've been here both seasons. Um, when did you know that, that you guys could make this big of a turnaround? And when you saw the team that you guys had coming into the season and, and what you added, what, why did you guys think you could make such a great turnaround? Yeah, well, last year I came here uh, not thinking that the, the, the season was going to be like that. Um, I came here uh, to, to make this team, uh, uh, to make the, the, the fans to be proud of this team. And of course, it uh, was difficult last year. But when you have like, the mentality that the coach had, it's a winner. And, and you come here and you learn from him. And then you go on the field and like, uh, perform. perform. I think that's that's how you change completely, right? You have a lot of players uh, with experience, like he said, that bring that uh, to 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 the team, and I think that's that's so important, right? Because you you need some those those players all the time, um, and in my case, I think uh, um, it's 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 so uh, important, like I said, to be to be to be ready for everything. I think uh, in this year, it's not gonna be. Um, well, we want it to be a different weight uh, in the way that, that we want to be the champions, right? Of course, it's going to be difficult, but we, 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 I think we can do it. So it's just, it's just about to believe in ourselves. Josh, uh, the decision to start Musa last weekend and, and give him that opportunity, the way he responded, what goes to your mind when he scores that goal? And, and you know, what has he done throughout this season uh, you know, where has he made the biggest strides for, for, for you since he got here? I think for Musa, the difficulties, um, you know, assimilating to a new league, to a new, uh, you know, he's been in this team now a little over a year, but uh, it's always challenging, you know, changing environments. His family's not here. He's had children. He's lost family members. So he's, he's had so many different challenges this year. So when he is on the field and his mental space is in a good place, he's been able to perform. And I think as he's performed, he's also gained – um, you know, more confidence, more affection from the players, more affection from the fans. And, and I think that's, that's helped settle him. And, you know, the, the utilization of his qualities 
um, are, are quite important. And we, we talk about having variety player traits um, in, in, in similar positions. Danny Hosen brings something different than Maxi, and Maxi brings something that different than, than Musa. So in that game for me and, uh, and the rest of the staff, it was clear how we could utilize uh, Musa in this game as we've used him in other games. But at the end of the day, the player has to perform. He grabs a goal on, on a set piece, but he was invaluable throughout the first half and certainly the second half. So, um, you know, Maxi comes in and gives us energy. Felipe comes in, gives us energy, ball security, and, and certainly his his, you know, his antagonism, which is, is what he's known for. But Moose has been extremely strong um, coming in as a reserve, and, and I was glad to see him as a starter be able to perform, sustain 60 minutes, and have an impact in the game in, in a number of ways. So we're, we're hopeful that um, that can continue for him, and, and obviously Maxi and Danny have the same opportunities. And Julia, what did it mean for you to see Musa score that goal? And, and just to know, as you guys that have had the majority minutes this year, to have guys off the bench that are contributing in these big moments for you guys, uh, I guess how important is that and how much does that mean uh, when those moments happen? Yeah, I think this, this is, this is a, a team, right? This is not only 11 players. So everyone needs to be focused the entire time to be ready for, for the time that comes for him. Um, and for Musa, well, uh, I think he deserves it, right? He he have been through a lot this year, and and seeing him like scoring uh, the, the couple go couple couple goals lately, I think it's so important for him to feel that 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 feel something with his team, you know, like everyone here support him, and and I think uh, that's what we need, right? Players like like him that comes from the bench and just like perform like like he does. What's the biggest game you've ever played in? <laughs> yeah. yeah this one is? This one is. Yeah. What's, what was it before this? Uh, outside, of, outside of this year, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> outside <laughs> of this year. year. Uh, no, in Costa Rica. I played a final then in Costa Rica, and, and, and we won it. So, that of course, was important for me. It was my first uh, title, and, but we make it. What was the emotion going into that, and how different is it going into this? Well, um, there's a lot of pressure, right, um, through everything. Uh, but I think this game, um, we, are in the we are not the favorites. I think people doesn't see us as a, uh, the favorite to win the MLS Cup or not even the Western Conference. So I think that's good for us. Uh, we, we can, like, do what we know. We, we do what we know to do better, that is play with the ball. We play a lot better without, without pressure. We, we, I think that's one of the, the reasons why we're here today in this uh, position, playing against uh, the best team in the league in the final. So I think that's, that's, what, we was, that's what we made for. And well, hopefully we can, we can make it happen. And then will you jump on the drums? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know if you played an instrument. From Jorge Duralde to Josh. <laughs> Let's go, Jorge. Okay. <laughs> he said, can you give us your thoughts about MLS.com giving Austin an 8% in possibilities to be a champ? Um, I think it's merited given, given who's left. I think New York City is a defending champ, extremely good team. I think Philadelphia has been, you know, uh, one of the best teams in the league. And LAFC, on the other side of it, have been the best team um, this season. So understandable don't agree with it but understandable uh that we've gotten to this place and and the reality is there's two two games four teams and and um you know we're one of the teams that can come from this so we're excited by the opportunity not many people gave us a chance the first time against la the second time against la or or maybe to be in this situation this year so we run with that we, we're quite confident in who we are and believe in what we um have been able to build and establish over the course of a season uh, I don't look at it as a fluke. I mean, we've been in second place, first place for majority of the year. So, um, you know, some of the things that you hear about the team over the course of time are what they are. These guys come to work every day. They're prepared. They utilize some of that in, in the background noise. But, but we stay very committed to who we are. Our, our inside circle, our family, so to speak, is our family. And that's what's most near and dear to, to me and the, and the group and the staff. So um, we got a big challenge on Sunday in L.A. The guys are um, more than excited by it. They have 
pretty good idea how we can go about that game, and, and it comes down to execution. In, in those moments, um, you need your big players and your stars to step up, which Sebastian's done for us. But as I mentioned, guys, before, Ruben, Julio, Alex, Brad, uh, you know, experienced players also need to, to help carry that weight and lessen the burden on others. But um, we've been 11. You know, every time we put an 11 out there, it's about our group. It's about the collective. And the guys that need to come in and help give solutions are also going to be equally important. So we've utilized just about everybody in our roster, and we're going to need them this game as well. So huge challenge, but a welcome challenge. For Julio, uh, what do you see out of Alex as a captain? Just what, what do you appreciate about his leadership? Oh, that he doesn't give a shit anything. <laughs> to be honest, that's, that's, that's him. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Um, that's him. That's him. And doesn't. Uh, and I don't see it bad. I think that's that's. I think you always need that player on the team, and and he's the one. Um, and probably uh, a lot of uh, players from the other teams doesn't like him, but we love him. We love him, and that's that's because he's our captain, and and we defend him like all the time. We we go. Like I said, we defend each other as a, as a, as like, like family, and well, I think this is like I said, it's good to have him, to have him like in the team as a, as a captain. Um, quickly, so the Athletic reported yesterday that the league's considering a new playoff format for next year. I don't know if you've heard about this. If you have, just kind of initial reaction. They said World Cup style, eight teams from each conference and group play, then into a knockout stage. I haven't looked into it terribly much. I like the format that we're in. I think it's been good for the game and obviously puts puts a premium on how you finish the year and, and obviously single, you know, the single game format that's elimination style I think is, is, is has been great. So. I'll look into it as we conclude this year. Coach, you, you were talking kind of the big picture with Bob right out of the gate. Um, has all this, whether it's the support, whether it's been the success on the pitch, has it all come even sooner? Because I know you guys had high expectations, but has it, has it come sooner than you even dreamed? Um, I think I don't think we dreamed or had the inclination that we'd, we'd be in the Western Conference final. Um, again, I think you have to also you also have to adjust expectations along the way. I think last year you, you have expectations of what it's going to look like and feel like coming out the gate. The support has been there and has been tremendous from the get-go. And you know, to establish from nothing, you're building this team from nothing to come out and play the way that we played. You know, in the first half of last year was was quite good, and we 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 lacked some some pieces certainly within our group. We lacked some leadership, and we saw some of the gaps and adjusted that. And um, we've benefited from from first year growth and certainly the second year growth, but. Uh, you get to the playoffs, you give yourself a chance. I, I've been in this league long enough to know you can get on a run quick. Teams that end the season with momentum can carry that into playoffs. Um, but for us, we've had quality, consistency throughout the year. We have game changers inside our team, um, and we have good experience throughout the field. And, and depth is, is a big part of, of being able to get to this point. And, you know, it's a one-game type deal. So the fact that we did well enough in the season to get two home games gives us a really good chance to keep progressing. And now we have to go on the road, which – um, was another area that we were one of the best in the league this year, and we need to lean hard on that. And um, you know, it, it won't be easy, but we expect to have success this year. Yes, was it to play for MLS Cup? We probably didn't think that big, but um, once you're in the playoffs, everybody has a shot at it, and it's about winning games and moving forward. And that's what we've been able to do in both these games. Josh, the uh, the conversation around the the preseason predictions seems to to kind of keep rolling on, but do you have any other like pieces of paper laminated around around the locker room or you know your name's on a few things in there bills don't worry um no i think again i think i think it's it's funny that it still goes around uh, again this was felipe felipe's great he's like the consummate antagonist for mls 10 years of doing what he's doing so he put this together the experts predictions and laminated and put it around the training room so I merely brought it to the attention of the players, which they already knew. Um, more just, to, again, expand on this is where we are. This is what year one brought us, and this is what people believed and, and thought of us. And it's, it's, you know, there's no injustices there. That was, was their opinions, and rightfully so. But um, that was February and March. I don't think, you know, this has been brought to light by any of us um, in, in that way. And, again, it just lends to who Felipe is. I mean, he's been getting yellows and reds from the opposition for years, and this is him, you know, continuing to be able to poke that in the media or 
or or keep doubting us um, with, with with some of his, com his commentary. It's it's just uh, again who he is as a character and, and a villain, and, and he loves that, and we love that about him. But um, no, I think you know that was something that was utilized for our players, for for us. I think early in the season, it's it's more. I don't know why it continues to make the rounds, but it is what it is. Just a, a couple of qu last questions from Michelle Sanchez, who's tuning in online. Um, one for Josh and one for Julio. Um, Julio first, if that's okay. Uh, win or lose on Sunday, can you tell us what this season has meant to you on a personal level? Well, uh, I think this, this has been my, my best season in, in five years here in the MLS. Yep. Um, mostly because I've been playing a lot, right? I think uh, this is my first my first year playing that many games, and and I'm happy with that. I'm so happy that that I can like uh, be able to to help the team to help the team to grow. Um, I think I can see I can see a lot from this team. We can reach a lot of things if we keep in the same way. So to me, it means it means a lot to be here. That's awesome. And then a uh, last question for Josh. This, you've talked a lot about the support of the fans this year being a big boost for the club. Uh, do you have a message to any of the traveling or non-traveling fans who will be tuning in this weekend? Yeah, our fans, our supporter sections, this community in Austin has been, been incredible. But I, I, can, I can just, um, again, just look and look back on going to LAFC previously, Colorado when we went there for the first time last year, this year, going to, to D.C., our fans travel in, in such great numbers and bring such great energy. Um, you know, we celebrate with them when we are in these stadiums, so we look forward to having them there again. They've been extremely influential here at Q2, um, but but also impactful on the road for us. And and I know they will come in full spirit and full voice and and challenge the um, the, the opposition in, in a good way. And and again, they're a big part of, of of why we've had success this year. There's no doubt about that. And unfortunately, we're not able to play at Q2 this game. Hopefully, we get the job done and, and have an opportunity to play. A final here at Q2 but our supporters have been um, second to none this this entire uh, this entire season as well as last season so looking forward to seeing them again in, um, in LA. Thank you Josh thank you Julio thank you to those in attendance and thank you for those tuning in online we'll see you Sunday.